Hello and in this video I'm going to give you an overview about the Houdini tutorials about the procedural terrain with Unreal Engine. So here in my scene in Unreal, this has been procedurally generated by a Houdini tool. So everything you see is made from a procedural background. So we're going to start out with creating the terrain and then we're going to integrate more features like a building, a cliff system, a bridge system, tree system and so on. So we will step by step generate and create each of these elements. And this is then the final loop of the scene where we have this customizable procedural scene where I can easily start to make changes. To make my project even faster, I'm going to use Quixel assets to build everything that I need faster or use some assets that they have. Next up, I want to show you a quick demonstration of how this tool works. So with this tool, we of course need our plugin for Unreal. We can just simply drag and drop our digital asset. From there, we can design with basic shapes how our terrain look like. There is also a quick blockout tool that could generate these shapes. So we can create custom shapes to project in our terrain to decide our level. This is also going pretty fast, as you could see. So it has a really interactive way of working and designing your layout. Once this is done, we are going to the next steps. We can add then paths, rails, a bridge, a building, trees, and so on. Once that is done, we can add, for example, a path or path and railway. These are controlled by lines. So we can easily decide where the path should go for our player, and then it will automatically integrate it in the terrain, and it will also add props based on that line. Then further, we have a tool for a bridge. With basic cubes and shapes, we can define where this bridge should be. And then we can, for example, easily add some bridges in the level to make our level more interesting. Then next up, we'll be adding buildings. So we again here place a box and this is then representing my building. So in Houdini, we will calculate a whole procedural building from this that will be automatically also have props, ivy and so on. Then next up to bring the terrain more together will be a cliff system. So everywhere where we have a certain slope, we will then place modular cliff models from Quixel. And then further to finish off the tool is I will do some trees and foliage to bring everything nicely together. So with this tool, you can see that you can go step by step and integrate more features as you go on the way. So this allows us for someone who want to design a certain world to really have control and flexibility on to where place certain things. And this is always adjustable afterwards because we are working procedural and we can easily manipulate curves or the box where certain areas of the building should be placed. Then here in Houdini, a quick overview on the file. So what we will do is we will have one big tool in Unreal, but in Houdini itself, we will have multiple digital assets. So we're going to simply start out here by making a basic terrain. And then here I will start creating a digital asset that, for example, here will create the paths. Then we have a digital asset that will create the bridge, digital asset for creating the building, then for the cliffs, and then lastly, the trees. So you can step by step enable these. Then for draft, we're going to finish off with building a final mask. So we will build a mask for our terrain and with Houdini engine, this is automatically converted into our terrain. So we don't need to export textures, but you can, if you want that. Once that is all built, it will come nicely together here in our asset. And then we can open this back in Unreal. So here in Unreal, then we can generate a scene like this, for example, as you could see, this is also a smaller scene. But with, of course, since we are working in Houdini and we have procedural workflows, we can easily start scaling this up to a bigger scene and terrain. But the focus for this tutorial will be on a similar scene like this, and we will create it together. So thank you for watching, and I hope you're interested to watch the tutorials.